welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be all about a new asian supermarket that has just opened up and apparently it's meant to be absolutely huge and it stocks a bunch of east asian and southeast asian foods uh, particularly i think on the website it said like chinese japanese korean and vietnamese uh, ingredients they've got like a sake bar and like uh, two hours with instant noodles so i thought i would take you along over to east london to check it out and see what it is like if it's your first time on the channel then hello i'm shu and i make videos all about my life living alone in London as well as food, London lifestyle and future travel videos. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing then please do consider subscribing for more videos like this and if you are already subscribed thank you so much I love and appreciate you. Give the video a big thumbs up to help support the channel and uh, yeah also I'm wearing the same outfit as I am in a, another video because I've just finished building some flat pack furniture to add to the fat so including like a little note coat rack and some new boxes underneath my cabinet so everything looks more put together so that vlog's going to come up very very soon but anyway i'm talking at million miles per hour let's head over to the supermarket and see what is in stock this is the second branch of Tian Tian Supermarket and it officially opened up last week on the 20th of February in Aldgate. The first one opened up in South Key Canary Wharf five years ago. I couldn't see it in this visit but there are plans to launch an online shop and install collection point and areas to sell hot food in the future. So look out for that in the coming weeks to months. So here is Tian Tian Market and there is currently a queue to go inside. So around the area we've got a cinema here, a bar, we've got a letting agent, uh, we've got some residents here that are living here which would be amazing to be honest to live opposite the supermarket but this is what it generally looks like let me try and slow it down and pan around they also have like waterworks of um what horses structures and statues and things which is cool but i'm gonna now queue up to go inside it's so exciting like i love food shopping anyway but to go to a new supermarket this big i'm very excited <laughs> Peeking through the windows right now, you can see the vegetables, the aisles, all very bright and modern, very clean. Here are the opening hours, Sunday to Thursday, 10 till 9 p.m. and Friday, Saturday, 10 to 9.30. So when you come in here, you've got the snack aisle and you follow it all the way around in a one-way system. It's a sneak peek of some of the aisles. Oh my goodness, I've never seen the white rabbit candy. It's matcha flavour and red bean flavour before. We can get it for two seventy nine dollars and two fifty nine. dollars They have white rabbit sweets like this as well. Yum! They've got apple flavoured Kit Kats as well. Look at all of these different Pocky flavours. They have lots of different types of mochi here as well. Sesame, red bean. And they have a sake bar here as well. Let's go inside and see. So you can find some sake in here. Wow! This is very, very saucy aisle. So many aisles here, like each aisle is different. So we've got this one, which is all to do with different types of noodles. We've got one just dedicated to sauces. There's multiple, multiple snack aisles and everything is super distanced apart as well. Really, really modern, very spacious and they only let a certain amount of people in as well. So um, yeah, it's all really safe in here, bright. I love it! There's also like two aisles just dedicated to instant noodles. I believe this one is it. These are rice noodles. This one's another type of rice noodle. Sichuan flavours. So many noodles! I love that they also have mirrors here as well. I just feel like this is my kind of aesthetic surrounded by instant noodles. <laughs> this is the ice cream aisle as well and they've got the boba milk tea one. This is not the one I bought uh, earlier. But this one's still pretty good but it's not as like deep flavor this is the one that i got in uh, december but you can get it in singular form for 1.99 this is the one i would recommend and what's here herbal jelly got some veggies coconut lotus root bean curd bean puff spam necessity vietnamese ingredients here as well and this is an overview of the aisles keeps going to my fellow dumpling and bubble tea lovers you'll find aisles and aisles of these products stretching as far as the eyes can see with various fillings flavors and brands as i visited on a saturday afternoon a lot of the things are after were no longer in stock but this was to be expected on the first week of launch if you love food shopping like me you'll want to block out a big part of your day to dedicate towards the trip because there's a lot to look at my eyes and tummy were very happy so they've got a bunch of like cakes and pastries here and i'm guessing this would be where like the meat and all the fish is and then maybe this is like a section where you can eat and dine in in the future but yeah this is what it looks like it's currently a work in progress but 
everything seems to be quite popular uh, and out of stock down that end but you've got all of the veggies and stuff here and that's pretty well stocked and they've got staff out just refilling things all the time here are some of the veggies that you can expect we've got some soybean sprouts so good with korean food as well we've got some mushrooms some enoki mushrooms which i absolutely love in stews so much fresh chilies got some bat chai oh no this is wawa chai I don't know what that is in uh, English. Wow, wow, chai. My fave got Tong Ho here, which is 197, which is a pretty good price with Tong Ho, you know. That one's 225. I love this stir uh, fried, so good. We also have Dao Mio, which are pea sprouts for three pounds, uh, and seal bak chai, which is smaller, like white bak chai. We also have this section here, which we've got some wonton, we've got seal mai, dim sum, and then over here, we've got a section full of buns. So we've got some steamed buns here. The custard buns, lava buns here, loads of different types of filling, radish, and this is so good, it's just like plain. We've got some red beans, sesame, ooh, what's this one? Tapioca pearl ones, I've never tried that, but I'm intrigued, and taro buns. And over here we have the kimchi section, and then the place where you can find the rice cakes and tofu, and radish so much stuff the checkout process was quick smooth and efficient they currently have an opening offer to redeem a sweet treat when you spend over 20 pounds we gathered quite a few chapters because we went ham that is the end of my Tian Tian supermarket video i hope you enjoyed it it is absolutely huge inside and it's almost overwhelming because there is so much choice like aisles and aisles of tofu kimchi instant noodle sauces like there's literally everything so if you are planning to come down here then have an idea roughly of what you like i'd say and like, make a rough list because otherwise just get in there you're like Wah! It's actually amazing. Uh, but the nearest tube station is Aldgate. We can also access here for a little walk from Liverpool Street, uh, Spitalfields, Aldgate East. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for videos like this in the future. And uh, yeah, I've got lots of bags of things. My sister's got a few bags as well of snacks and ice creams and noodles and sauces. So I shall see you in the next video eating some of this stuff. Hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.